Welcome back to Let's Movie Skin Snowboard. Got some stuff to wear. Get more special things. <laughs> Absolutely wondrous. This comes in a different color, of course. Or anything, anything special or unique. Not especially. It's kind of weird, I'd expect. I wouldn't expect the socks to be black with the black one, but okay. Good hat. I guess we can have a hat to match. Our ninja days are over, because we're already the best ninja of them all. Doesn't really fit us very well, but okay. I think I'll we'll actually go to snowboard after this. Because there was something I had been wanting to do. Oh, although. Finally. Use the brooms. There we go. Got some color coordination going there. I think the snowboard we're already using the nothing snowboard. Yes, okay. That's what I want to do. Back to the mountain. Daytime this time. What are we going to do on the mountain today? Well, we only have one more episode left this sitting, so we don't have a ton of time to burn here. Ooh, bad weather. Super white weather. Geez, so supposedly you find tons of people stuck in the snow. In a snowstorm like this. Man, totally gray skies, too. It's like everything's in grayscale. My god. Okay, honestly, I just wanted to go to the top of... Well, I wanted to go to... That one cave area anyways. Okay, so let's go in here. Look at this weather. This is gonna look interesting from the top. I mean, blue skies are one thing, but... So like this is something else. Powder. So I guess Mount Angry owned the ski resort canonically in the US. Huh. Wait. This doesn't like... Are there any places in the US that would look like this? I don't think you'd have to do that further north than that. I guess it could be Alaska. Yeah. You're right in Alaska. Or some, like, weird... post-apocalyptic nuclear winter Grand Canyon thing or something. I think you can see where you are on the map, too, when you're in the helicopter. It's a small little detail. They even give you a different map icon when you're, when you're doing this. So I want to see what that serpent place is called. I, I might just be called Serpent. That's what I've been calling it this whole time. But it's interesting how the majority of Serpent is actually hidden. Look, there's someone who wants to... Oh, there's someone who needs help. That's what it is. Good luck getting help down there. Jeez. <laughs> this looks like a 60 degree angle from there. This is interesting. You just... Just stand in here. Looking over the... Just standing here looking over the whole, whole mountain. <laughs> Anyways, let's head on over to... Well, out of curiosity, does the weather change? Depending on the... F in your photos? Oh, it does. Beautiful. Huh, so is the weather random if you select a photo shoot location from... from the menu? That's interesting. Did the snow actually calm down? 
Yeah, it's still a gray sky, but it seems like it calmed down a little bit. I was wondering if it would... Whoa. Big rotation. I was wondering if it would calm down. Yeah, there's less fog now. Huh. I was wondering if it would calm down because I reloaded the level like that. That's interesting. Break a bit on over through here. Beautiful. Let's go on the real serpent area. Whoops. Good job. Where's that spit us back out at? This entrance. Okay. There's just something I love so much about the image of you just... Look at this. I'm just sliding down here on my feet. Beautiful. Now this is the main reason I want to come back here, because I knew you would, I would get something for jumping over that chasm. Appreciate this place once more as well. Is that person? People, people just like casually hanging out here? This is a secret course. What are you doing? The secret courses don't seem all that secret in actuality. Although there's only one person you can find in Yeti, I guess. And that person is for a photo op. So I guess that place does seem to actually be legitimately secret. Doesn't seem like you can even get your friends to follow you there either. No, we're again coming. There you go. Granny rides Goofy. A bit more comfortable that way. And once I come out of here, I am. Well, I, what I'm in the mood for is more exposition stuff, or. Explorer, scientist, whatever you want to call it, stuff. There's not much point in going all the way down here again, though, so I guess we'll just warp down. Or I can do more slalom, since I've been doing that, but... I guess let's do one more of these. Crystal. Ribbon's nest, no big deal. Okay. So I think the Griffin helicopter takes you right to Griffin's Nest. It's not Griffin. Uh, not right to Griffin's Nest. I believe it's just to the right from here, right? I don't know, there's definitely still plenty of snow coverage here. I guess there just wasn't any up that high. If there's no... There's not much snow up that high. That's weird, because there's still snow falling up that high at the top of the mountain in Dragon's Den. But there's no wind. Should there be more wind up there, if anything? Am I not where I thought it was? I love, for some reason, seeing the camera zoom in on me just standing here. Over the snow. On the mountain. Anyways. I know we can get there from Giant. I think the Griffin... There we go. I think the Griffin chopper actually takes me to just above the nest. Or right, above, just below the nest. Or something like that. So I can see the nest. 
There's the beak. Yeah. So this should be inside the nest, right? That's the beak. The nest is up top. I don't know if I've ever gone down on the side of Griffin. I usually just jump off the beak. And so here we're just kind of in the open area of Griffin. Is a little strange. Unless nest is actually the bottom, which I don't think it was. Unless it's unicorn. Like we we accepted the. The task, right? Griffin's nest. Oh yeah, close to the mobile area. I don't remember where the mobile area was, though, is the issue. Okay. You basically, you can't really rely on the game telling you that you have to do a safe landing. You basically have to develop your own intuition for it. But Griffin's Nest is, in fact, up here, I'm fairly certain. I just need to know where the mobile area is. I want to see an avalanche from below. Can I do that? Not really. Okay, whatever. here, on this side, that takes me to Kraken. On this side of the ridge. Not that I have very good visibility here, but that's the Kraken's left tentacle, or right tentacle there. So I need to go on this side. I'm fairly certain this is the nest. Is the Mokwe area off to the right? I really don't remember where moguls are on this mountain. I know there are moguls. The griffin, the griffin area seems to be fairly big in general. So you can turn around and you're doing a box slide, but the game doesn't give you credit for it or anything. I don't think that far off to the right is anything of interest, because I've gone through there before and I don't remember there being moles there. Yeah, we're on Griffin, I know that. This person wants to be my friend. Oh! Hey, dude! Snowman is apparently male. He has a very male voice. I mean, I guess that was kind of implied by the name, wasn't it? Oh, speedy. This is the, okay, so that weird, that sudden jerk to the, to the side is the mobile area, it looks like. I don't know if I've gone through here. Come on. It was hard to find you here. What do you do with the crystal to your stuff nose? Do you stuff it up your nose? Anyways, this will end off the episode here. Yes, yeah, so I don't think I'd ever actually explored this part. There was that one. There was a point earlier today when I was planning on coming through here, and I didn't. I guess this is the mobile area. Yep. Like usual, usual I think it's best just to kind of speed through it and jump over it. Honestly, more than anything, if you want to go through it fast, in order to circumnavigate them. But yeah. I remembered at least that there were moguls, in fact, here on 
Here on the mountain. <laughs> okay. Alright, to the bottom we go. And take whatever path you want. I don't know what the faster route would be. Go through the unicorn stuff. I do really like the hoof, even though it kind of curves kind of hard, so I don't know if it's really the fastest way to go down. Although I think we just take off from right here. If you go left, it's definitely not faster. If you go right here, I think, instead of curving around the hoof, I think we're fine. If you look really closely, you'll see that I can't really do safe landings just as a precaution. Even if I don't actually need to, or if I'm not certain whether I need to, because it's pretty common for this game to cause me issues with that, even when I don't expect it to be an issue. Oops, that's the wrong emote. Curiosity. Where's the next one gonna be? More roots. Roots and pistols. Oh, just other camp. So turn the camp. So the camp is a part of the nest, I guess. Well, I think the entire griffin area is the griffin's nest, I think. And the base camp is just that one part of the griffin. As a guess. That's the impression I have now. Anyways. Hey. Bye, snowman. Gonna get going. I don't know if we're gonna get any new clothes or anything. Because I got at least one thumbs up. Nope, okay. In that case, I'll see you guys next time, next episode of Let's Play Whiskey and Snowboard. I'll actually check real quick. If I didn't, without realizing, get a new snowboard. I don't think I did, because they would have probably gotten new skis at the same time. Nope, okay. Bye, everyone.